You shot straight, but you shot late. Hi, Lenny. This is the Rundown Podcast. All right, I'm going to give you the rundown. All right, I'm going to give you the rundown. Police Chief Alan Banks says that this celebration was supposed to bring the community together. Now the community is mourning the loss of two people and multiple people injured in last night's shooting. Paul Wall, one of the performers from last night's concerts, even went on X, sharing his condolences to the families who were affected by last night's shooting. Right now, Round Rock uh, Old Settlers Park will remain closed as Round Rock Police Department continue to investigate. We were told that the shooting happened further out into the park it's still closed entrances have barricades police officers are asking the public to stay away from the area as they continue this investigation according to police just before 11 p.m last night a fight broke out between two groups at old settlers park during a juneteenth celebration someone pulled a gun and fired during the concert we were told that the shooting did not happen near the main stage it happened near the vendor section two people were killed and multiple people were injured police say these individuals were not involved with the altercation they were spy standards who lost their lives. Round Rock PD and Fire Department were already at the event. First responders were able to quickly render aid. According to Austin Travis County EMS, four adults and two children were taken to local hospitals with potentially serious injuries. Police say they are searching for suspects. None are in custody. The park will remain closed this morning. Police ask that you avoid the area as they continue to investigate. Immediately, and the suspects took off running. Suspects were not taken into custody. What I do ask is if there's any witnesses that might have video or have witnessed this incident, please notify the Round Rock Police Department. We can be reached at 512-218-5500. It is unfortunate that we're here celebrating a wonderful event and we have a tragedy that happens. My thoughts, my prayers go out to our victims. My condolences go out to the families of the deceased. All the victims and the deceased were not emergency personnel or first responders. They were actually uh, folks that were there enjoying the concert. Uh, Old Settler Park is an open field with the stage. Uh, the shooting did not occur near the stage. It occurred near the vendor area uh, away from the stage. Um, the two victims, I can tell you, were not part of the altercation. Say my hey my hey man, it's OG Jacario, and I'm back at you with another one. And I had to come spin the YouTube block about a shooting that occurred at a Juneteenth Festival concert featuring Lloyd the Singer, uh, Paul Wild, and Kurt Cobain, two Houston rappers that were set to perform there. And right before Lloyd got on the stage, and right after Paul Wild left the stage, guess what? That's when the shooting broke out, you guys. And unfortunately, 14 people were injured. And this was a family event, so of course, it was children there. And unfortunately, a couple of those children had got injured as well. And two people ended up deceased from this shooting. Round Rock Police on Monday released the names of the two people who were killed in the shooting Saturday night at Old Settlers Park. The victims were identified as 33-year-old Lindsey Vignera from Maynard and 54-year-old Eric Duke from Pflugerville. The shooting, which also injured 14 others, occurred during a Juneteenth celebration at the park around 10.50 p.m. Following a fight between two groups who were at the event, Round Rock Police said, neither Vignera or Duke were involved in the original altercation. And that's sad because obviously these two people who ended up losing their life as the article reads, they had nothing to do with this whole ordeal, this fight that broke out. And yet, they lost their lives. Pow Wow took to his Facebook page to send his condolences and he says this, Prayers up for Round Rock, Texas. This truly hurts my heart. And as I mentioned, people were saying as Pow Wow exited the stage after his performance and right before Lloyd the R&B singer was getting ready to come up and perform. That's when the shooting occurred. And the article said a fight broke out between two groups of people. Now, they didn't go too much into detail, but we all know that this could very well have been some type of gangs that were into it about whatever. And unfortunately, two people ended up losing their life and 14 others, including children, because this was a family uh, event that was held there in Round Rock, Texas, this Juneteenth celebration, and people 
were injured as well. Now, with this being a family event, you would think, you know, the law enforcement who was there would have patted people down, had some type of metal detectors to see if people were bringing weapons in, but obviously none of that occurred because these people, these individuals, these two groups were still able to bring these weapons in and cause and wreak havoc among the public. And it's sad, man, that we can't have these type of events without tragedy happening. It's crazy, right? It seems like every time we have an event, black people I'm speaking on, you know, it seems like it's always gunshots, gunfire, right? And loss of life. No suspects and no arrests has been made in this shooting as of yet, but there is a $5,000 cash reward for any information and uh, surveillance video that somebody might have had doing the altercation to help police narrow down these suspects and lead to their arrest. And as you heard in the news segment that I played earlier in the clip, they're saying that the feds are crawling around Round Rock, Texas, looking for any suspects that were involved in this shooting and possibly with all these people being shot, you know, 14 injured and two deceased, right? Obviously there were some modified weapons and you know, maybe switches the mechanisms that turn regular guns into machine guns was used in this shooting that wreaked all this havoc there in Round Rock, Texas. And maybe that's why the feds are there, ATF, trying to figure out what the hell is going on out there in Round Rock. And why would this type of thing occur at a family event that's supposed to be secured? Because law enforcement was right there on the scene. What's really going on, you guys? So, until next time, y'all get in the comments section and let me know what y'all think about this entire ordeal. And this is OG Jacario TV with the latest in hip hop and celebrity news. You're watching the Rundown Podcast. I appreciate everybody for spinning with me. I appreciate all my subscribers for sliding with your boy every time. And say, man, hey, man, hey, man, keep hitting that like button, keep hitting that subscribe button. And look, turn on post notification so we can slide whenever I get the drop. And you already know what it is, man. It's deeper than booty hell. And guess what? I'm gone.